It's Mr Omari here and I want to talk to you students about how you do the vocabulary builder task that goes along with your deep reading work. The reason that we do this task is to build up the number of words that you can understand and the number of words that you can use. Both of these are very important. A good um, large vocabulary is very useful to you in all areas of your life. So this is why we're doing it. So you're reading your text and you're looking for something that is kind of at the edge of what you can read. Now, this is a text called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is one of my favourite books, and it's probably placed about right for a lot of you in Year 7. So I'm looking through, and I'm looking at this sentence here without all that tedious mucking about in hyperspace. And I think, OK, tedious will be my word. I've heard the word tedious, but I'm not super sure what it means. So I go over to my worksheet, and I type in tedious. Uh, now, because I was reading the ebook, I actually don't know what page it's on, but you know, most of you are reading paper books, so you'd either put the chapter it's in or the page it's on. I copy out the text, that, the sentence that it actually comes from. There it is, so that I've got it in context. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the dictionary definition. Now, because I've got a computer, I'm going to pop over to Google and I'm going to type in define, and I'm going to type in define tedious. So. That's what I'm searching for, and as you can see there on the screen, it tells me that it's an adjective that means too long, slow, dull, tiresome. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to jump back over to um, my work, and I'm going to copy that in there. I can also go back to Google, and I can get some synonyms. Synonyms are words that mean something very similar to the original word. They don't mean exactly the same because we often don't, we don't have many words that mean exactly the same as another word, but a synonym means something similar. So here I have it. It's tedious. It's from chapter 10. With all that, all the, without all that tedious mucking about in hyperspace, the dictionary says it means too long, slow or dull, tiresome or monotonous, a tedious journey, and there are some um, synonyms. So my definition is... Um, that I think tedious means dull or uninteresting. So I'm going to put that in. I've um, spelt uninteresting wrong. Okay, and now I'm going to create a brand new sentence to show that I know how to use this word. So, the long drive back from Sydney was very tedious once it got dark. And that's it. So I've done my vocab builder for that word. So now I'm going to go back into my text and I'm going to look for a second word. So, you know, I jump back in. I'm reading it again. Um, there we go. The principle of generating small amounts of finite improbability. So I might say, OK, I'm going to start again. and I'm going to highlight that word. I'm going to start again with the word finite. And then I would go through the same process again. So that's how you do the vocabulary builder. It's very simple, but it'll just build up your awareness of new words, and hopefully it'll flick that little switch in your brain that keeps your eye out for interesting words.